Hey guys, how are things going during these unusual times? I hope you're all still healthy and well. It has been a while since we've seen each other, but I have to excuse me, I couldn't really find some time to make some videos. But I have some very good news. For this video, I have a nice N54 engine build. Um, the build will be spread into multiple videos because otherwise the, the video would be too long. Uh, this particular car had a uh, broken turbo, so we had to replace the turbos. But uh, while the front axle was of the car, the client uh, asked us to preventive change the rod bearings. So we took off the sump and we, yeah, when we loosened the rod caps, uh, we saw that the bearings were completely worn. Uh, but besides that, we saw that the crank was completely scratched as well, so the crank was ruined, so we couldn't reuse that anymore. Uh, we agreed with the client to do a complete engine build, so we have a lot of new parts for it. We have the forged GE pistons, we have Viseco forged rods, uh, race bearings, um, crank hub fix, basically everything we need to, to make a bulletproof build. Um, so first of all, we're going to start with putting in the new crank into the engine block, but before we can fit it uh, permanently, we have to make sure that all the clearances are, are within spec. So first of all, we're going to put in the new crank and the, new en and the engine block with the new bearings, check with, if all the clearances are within spec, and then if that is, everything is okay, we can go on, crank, uh, put the crank in definitely, torque all the bolts within spec and then if that's fixed we can put in the pistons, grind piston rings and go on. So first we're gonna take our ACL, ACL race bearings, uh, put those one into the block and into the griddle, in the block griddle. So all the bearing clearances of the main bearings are already in spec. So now we can mount the crank bed definitely. So we can torque everything to spec with new bolts, uh, tighten everything, and then we can turn the block around and start putting in the pistons.
So we're ready to mount pistons and rods. Uh, as pistons we have uh, chosen for, for EE pistons, the Ultra Series. They have a special skirt coating and also ceramic uh, top coating, uh, dome coating. So they are really made to, to maintain high power. Uh, rods we have uh, recycled boost line rods. This is a combination of I-beam and H-beam rods. They say they should be capable to withstand about 2000 HP. That's what they say, of course. So first of all, we're gonna now mount the pistons on the rods, and then we have to first check the clearances of the piston rings, file the piston rings so that the end gap is correct. If not, we can damage the pistons if, uh, if the engine heats up. So we're gonna start now with, first of all, putting the pistons to the rods, and then we will look to file the pistons.
So we have completely assembled the pistons and rods uh, in the engine block, checked all the clearances, bearing clearances, rod bearings, uh, rod bearing clearances, rod bearing clearances are all within spec, uh, torque everything down, uh, the engine turns around nicely. We've used uh, some calico coated rod bearings. So the calico rod bearings are ACL racing bearings, but with a special coating on top. Uh, so they are better uh, withstanded against uh, all starvation. So they are used for extreme conditions and they also are a little bit stronger and has uh, less friction than the original bearing. So that's why we choose to use those ones. So the only things left is uh, for the bottom end of the engine block is we have to still mount the fixed crank hub and then you still have to put on the cylinder head but the cylinder head will be in the separate video. So I thank you all for watching. Uh, I hope you have enjoyed it. If you liked it, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to my channel and see you next time. Have a nice day.